guys, welcome back to Yan Central on Newsbreak. My name is Hefziba and I'm here with these two beauties. Hi guys, my name is Nancy. Hi, I'm Naomi. a very interesting topic today that I feel like everyone is taking part in whether you are posting or you're not posting would you post your relationship on social media what do you guys think nope no never how many people are saying no never what about your thoughts on it I feel like the first picture anyone should see of you and your partner is your wedding picture. Okay. Just please. What about you? Like the streets are so dangerous. You don't <laughs> want to even make that mistake of putting your partner on social media. That's when you start hearing, oh, I know him from here, yeah. I know him from It's just, it's a mess. It's a whole mess. In, in some people's case, they, they feel like um, if you are not able to like post your partner, or if your partner is not posting you on social media, mm -hmm. then the person is not like showing you off. Or the person is not proud to be with you, or the person is in different relationships and they cannot afford to jeopardize any of these relationships. I think for me, that's where communication comes in. You need to be with someone that understands that or see and not the kind of person that will flaunt you off, mm -hmm. you know, that would, you know, just speak with someone, I'm sorry, speak with your partner and make sure the person understands that, okay, this is where I am, this is who I am. I am not the kind of person that will flaunt you and I hope that you understand that. So, because when you don't communicate these things with your partner, that's where the issue lies, or that's where the problem is. Yeah. Then, you know, decide like a back and forth thing, and so I just think communication would help. Well, I personally think that um, these things are like very relative. It may work for some people, it may mm -hmm. not work for some people. But to be honest with you guys, all the YouTubers that I've been watching, the moment they start flaunting their relationship on social media, that relationship is going south. <laughs> Exactly, and then the moment they break up and start discovering themselves and you know, in their own words, I'm focusing on myself, to make up their minds that they are no longer posting anyone and that's when you start thinking, should you really be posting your, you know, your partner on your social media because anything can go south, anything can go, you know, left mm -hmm. and then you start con considering like, why am I doing this? But then they are like part of your life, so why don't you... I don't know how they say that social media is not a real world, mm -hmm. right? So if I get to post my partner or not, that's where I think the communication again comes in. Yeah. If I get to post my partner or not, it doesn't mean anything because I feel in real life we get to see, we get to hang out, we spend time together, share thoughts and all that stuff. And I don't, I don't think it's a big deal. I agree with you know. What about you? What do you think? So aside like all this, I also talk about the toxic part okay. <laughs> of it. Mm. Me, I'll advise girls not to post their partners because most of the guys out there are shameless. Mm. So like you know how people say, like you just said it now that um, many people feel like um, partners do not post each other because um, it's an avenue for them to cheat. Mm -hmm. But like the other way around is that most of these people post their babies and everybody knows their babes mm -hmm. and they still cheat and embarrass her out there mm -hmm. so how are you posting me and then my friends are saying that ah this this guy is posting you but i'm seeing this guy with another girl somewhere so please just save yourself from embarrassment yeah. okay. nobody should post you don't post anybody please he will surely cheat me i believe he will surely cheat <laughs> <laughs> minimize the embarrassment please don't so post anybody what if this person insists on posting you like the person doesn't care if you post them but they just want to they just want to post you and put you out there and be like oh my god she's mine only mine personally if you post me without my permission no matter how much oh, they need your permission <laughs> <laughs> like it's fine because I don't even want myself to be out there. Mm -hmm. I feel like why, why would this? We know these things about each other. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not. I don't want to see myself out there. So why mm -hmm. would you be posting me? Why? So who just take? So who post videos of their babes sleeping? Videos of their babes snoring. That's babe so snoring, interesting. By the way, it's and so, so it's, it's somehow like I don't want it. Don't post me. I rarely post myself. And if I do that because it is me, I'm the only one that has the right to post myself whenever I want to. Yeah. Don't post me without my permission. And you never get it. That's it. I, I, I don't think I'll be posting my man out there. This is, 
Very risky. <laughs> <laughs> start bringing maybe like old stories. About yeah. him. Is even if there's, even if there's like nothing about him, just when you have to start digging up stories or maybe searching their Instagram. And you know how people are evil. People some are of us girls too, so we, um, we we care a lot about what our friends have to say. Yeah. It does not necessarily mean close friends, close friends. Some of your close friends know the pictures of the guy you're with. Mm-hmm. We would have seen the pictures. Yes. But like just basic friends, just random friends, who start giving comments that will make you think you think this guy doesn't look secure. like somebody that is well to do. Yeah. This guy is this start giving comments and even when you do not want to regard those comments, sometimes you just find yourself randomly thinking about them. Yeah. And somehow it might affect if you're not really, really emotionally intelligent, mm-hmm. it might affect the way you start you know, relating with your guy and stuff like that. Just please protect your relationship. See when you are married, you look at it from this angle. Doesn't it, doesn't it make you somewhat an insecure person if you're very spe- particular about not posting your partner on social media? I feel like everybody just has their own choice. Okay. I just don't want to post you. Mm-hmm. The fact that if I would like to say, if I post you or I don't, you still do what you want to do. Yeah. So it's not like I'm trying to protect you or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But I just don't want us out there. I don't want people in our because why am I posting you for people to see? And I don't want people in my relationship. I even know of someone that's like married and she barely posts her husband. I think if you only get to see them, it's maybe okay they went on a date and then you like catch she them posted, out. She posted when they were like when they were getting married, like on their wedding. Did she? I don't know her then, but I oh, recently yeah. she has a child with him, but she barely posts and she doesn't really care about it. Does so she does too. she post herself on so? Uh, yes, she does. She she then it's very intentional. I think mean, she doesn't put herself <laughs> on the normal girl. We're like, okay, she's probably not that person. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, um, so what are, what are you guys saying to people that post their relationships regularly on the internet? You'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know, it might be what's the like, it might be what rocks your boat. It's only okay for you to decide that, okay, I don't want to put this out there. Yeah. And I want to put this out there. So I can post everything that concerns my life and decide that I do not want to post my relationship. So that's very valid. But I also do not want to invalidate people that post their relationships. Like, we're just telling you that it's risky for you to post your relationship. But then, I don't know, baby. It's fine. Go ahead. Do whatever. Do you, baby. <laughs> do whatever you don't post. What kids' videos do you watch? Say God when. I say God when. I'm so cute. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this edition. If you think you prefer posting your relationships on the internet, can you leave a comment below? And if you are anti posting my relationship on the internet, Leave your comment below and don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and subscribe. Yeah. And apart from subscribing, make sure you turn on your post notification button so that every time you upload a new video on this channel, you'll be notified. You'll be the first person to see the video. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.